Hey everyone, Man Summer here and we're bringing you another house tour today. We're in the village of Oakenshaw, just off Green Meadow Lane, and that's within the city of Bradford. So I'll pop a map on the screen if you're not familiar with where that is. Summer and I are gonna be showing you around this sustainable eco home behind me that's a brand new build by Pure House Developers. It sits on around five acres, and mostly agricultural land that is owned by the developers. So if you spin around summer, you can check that out. So lots of horses from the front of the house as you view and you access these two properties through an electric gate and then a single track country lane so it's very picturesque very secluded and very private um, which are all important things for a lot of people nowadays now this is the front lawn and then obviously a look at the front of the property it does look quite different to many eco homes in pure house who are the developers they're kind of leading the way within the sustainable home movement and far surpassing the standards that are gonna be set by Reba in 2030 for sustainability in properties. So it's a near zero carbon home. The exterior, as you can see, looks quite different to the normal new builds that you're seeing at the moment. And we've got Siberian larch. This is the wood that's all surrounding the property. And now when treated and done by professionals, that can last up to 50 years and be very low maintenance. And it's also very sustainable because there's a lot more growth of that tree um, than what's being used at the moment. We've got disabled access, as you can see, via a ramp up to the main front door. And then around the outside of the building, there's 500 millimeters of Yorkshire stone. So still kind of keeping in with the local area. So a few reasons why the house is super eco-friendly. Um, it's super insulated, which means your heating wheels will be pretty much nearly zero. Yeah, that's good, isn't it? There's solar panels on the garage roof and also rainwater harvesting tanks. Yeah. So your rainwater can be filtered um, to and be you can use it for water. drinking water. Yeah. yeah. So it's very sustainable and like someone says, near zero. And now the windows all throughout um, are triple glazed. So for that reason, it's super insulated, it really is. So let's head on through the front door and we'll give you guys a tour. So as I mentioned, there's two properties, one each directly next to each other, and they're both for sale for 625,000 pounds, and they are brand new builds. This main entrance hall, let's take my shoes off before we carry on the tour. This is around two meters wide, perhaps just over two meters to be fair. And so, like we talked about outside with the ramp has been built, so it's great for disabled access. And here, there's the opportunity to put a lift in if you did want, so kind of can be the home for the future for you. As you grow older, you can easily do so here. I think I've noticed that a lot. I think more houses need to accommodate for disabled Agreed. or wheelchair access. As standard. Yeah, as, yeah. A, as a normal thing. Through double wooden doors into the main living room, there's a couple of key things that we noticed that are different here. And one of them is this L-shaped window at the front and, and glass. And it basically somewhere where you can sit and relax and enjoy the, view, the views to the front, the agricultural views, take a look at the horses. And then to the other side, we've got double doors out onto the terraced area. And let's just mention, as you can see one on the ceiling, the ventilation and purification system just up here. So that basically cleans the air. So if you've got asthma or maybe allergies. hay fever, yeah. allergies, um, you've got clean air coming through your house and less dust, so easier to clean. Easier to clean, yeah. Okay, so now back into the entrance hall. As we talked about, this is where you could have the lift. We've then got double doors again into the main open plan family entertainment area, somewhere where you can spend most of your time. So at the front, we've kind of got this snug area um, with basically a picture frame window. And these are the really noticeable differences to many traditional or standard new builds at the moment. Just how big this window is, how much natural light you're getting and the views that you've got to the front. I really like how eco-friendly this house is and sustainable. It does have a really great feel, doesn't it? I'd love to pay zero or near zero bills. Yeah. <laughs> Literally very Well, it makes cheaper. a big difference, doesn't it? You know, if you look at the average ownership cost of a house over say 10 years, this is gonna be considerably less. We've got high quality laminate flooring throughout the hallway and this living area. Very interesting and I do like this area. It kind of is very aesthetically pleasing, isn't it? Like it could be Pinterest shots of this kitchen bar. Well, it's more than a bar really. It's like a breakfast, somewhere you can sit down. Yeah, it's like a little booth. And have breakfast. 
And so from here, you look out to the rear garden. You've got a big garage at the back as well, which we'll show you later in the tour. And then there's gonna be two herb, herb gardens over there, isn't there? And then there's these big sliding doors. Very easily. You've got a terrace on the outside, and then that's your garage with an electric door and solar panels. Should we check out the kitchen? Yeah, let's check it out. So there's actually storage in here, which is smart to be fair, because it you could have easily missed that. You've got storage throughout here. You've got a couple of plugs with USB sockets surrounding. In terms of appliances, it's all Siemens throughout, so. Ovens here. Yeah. The kitchen was built by a local kitchen um, builder who's been doing them for around over a hundred years. Locally what, the same to the person? area. Yeah. Or do you no. mean the business? Yeah. yeah. Course, the business. Um, <laughs> in Huddersfield. Yeah, in Huddersfield, isn't it? They've always innovated. It's handleless. It's a very sleek, modern kitchen. But it's always good to hear that they've used local people as much as possible. Got a Siemens induction hob with an Alika extractor fan. And now this side is the integral Siemens fridge and freezer. I'm liking the light wood and white. It feels yeah. feels a bit more like Australian barley. It does, doesn't it? It's better than the usual what we see. We see a lot of dark. Kitchens, I think dark the dark woods. ones suit England. Yeah. Do you think the dark the dark ones suit some of the English houses that we see? I think when you look at this, it just looks more eco-friendly, doesn't it? With yeah. the colours and choices that they use, so it reflects that well. So through this wooden door, you've got the utility if you can fit through there. So yeah, it's a utility area, and then that goes on to a downstairs WC. Just a cute little toilet. It's a little dark in some rooms as there's not light bulbs in every single light. But in person, it feels really bright, doesn't it? So it's just different yeah. on camera. And then finally, this side, we've got a big understair storage cupboard. Yeah, let us know what you guys think down below in the comments of the house so far, what you think to the style. It is a bit different, so it's always good to hear thoughts. And then, Let's go upstairs and should we check out the first floor? Now this wood here, as well as also the Siberian larch, same as the one that we saw out the front, is kind of the offcuts and they've been used here. There's another really big window here, letting a lot of light into the landing. So into the main bedroom, it's furnished up to this bedroom basically. So nice big windows, all triple glazed. And then from the bedroom area, you go into the ensuite. And isn't this a really innovative shower? Yeah, so this shower can save you up to 40% on your energy bills. So it, the showers and taps throughout, you've got hands grower and grower, and they decrease the demand for water, but without decreasing the, you know, the... the um, what's the word? What's the word? Performance. Performance, that's it. So this shower screen has um, been made to prevent buildup of lime scale and mildew and things like that. That's cool. I like that it just flows straight in here. Yeah, it's an ultra thin shower tray and then an LED mirror. There's something really interesting about the walls, isn't there? Do you want to tell them? Yeah, there is. You can see that a bit better in the other room. Oh, God. You can see that a bit better in the other rooms, actually. Let me show you. But before we get onto that and I show you the cool feature of the walls, let me just show you the main family bathroom. So in here, you've actually got a freestanding bath instead of them doing a shower. Oh no, there's a shower behind the door. Is there? Yeah. Oh yeah. I was just thinking you would want a spare shower apart from the ensuite. Yeah. So I was going to ask about that. Yeah, let me show you that feature then with the walls. So this is the second bedroom. So it's a, it's a great double room, no complaints really, but if you wanted to make it even bigger, these walls here can be changed. And so a couple of hours, if you're good at DIY, or you can get someone to do it for you most likely, 
Um, you can take these down. You would need to obviously redo the carpet and repaint the wall. But then simply, you could then have a bigger room. You could either use the next bedroom as a dressing room. So you can customize your layout fairly simply. Yeah, so you could have three bigger bedrooms yeah. or five bedrooms. It's a five bedroom house at the yeah. moment, yeah. Um, there's no like electrical wires yeah. through there. So yeah, if you're a DIY person. There's just some insulation behind that you take out and move. And basically how it works is like these panels, they just clip off. Yeah, if like your sibling moves out and yeah. you get like a way bigger room. <laughs> these on the floor. So that's part of what circulates the air it's constantly bringing you in new fresh oxygen. Oxygen. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what it is essentially. Yeah. And then that's the fifth bedroom. This would be a nice dressing room or um, upstairs study maybe. And two more bedrooms. So another bedroom with a big triple glazed window. And these walls, again, these are the same ones that you could take out to join these bedrooms up. Yeah, I would think I would, I would join these two, this one up with that one yeah. to make like a, another big could have, second bedroom. Yeah, three big bedrooms then. And then just one smaller one as an office. Now, finally, this room has two windows as well. So triple glazing through the whole house. And overall, this house has achieved an air tightness rating of over 20 times what the average building would the be. The regulations are. Regulations, yeah, yeah. Which is really good. Yeah. Okay, let's go check out the garden and the garage and talk to you some more. So we're back downstairs now. Uh, let's go through the terrace to the outside. You've got side access along this path here from the front and then also if we go to the other side there's also side access from there so you can access either side nicely onto your rear garden and then here is a look if you can see from there somewhere at the back of the house so if you're someone that wants to live in a really sustainable place if you value that and it's important but equally you don't want to compromise on the way that you live the finishings um, and the aesthetics of the home, this could be really ideal. We've also got the double garage here with an electric door that's still been built and kept to the same aesthetic as the main house. And now on the top of there, there are solar panels. So really you are almost zero, zero carbon here. Near zero, yeah. yeah. Near as you can be really. And then let's have a look back at the house. Here's where the rainwater harvesting, yeah. they're called herb gardens. Herb gardens, yeah. Herb gardens, they'll be covered though. Um, they're nearly they're finished, done. aren't they? There's a few things that have been finished on. This one's more progressed, and then that one next door, obviously they're both going to be for sale. Now finally, there is a bit more to offer as well. I'm not going to go right around there now because the turf hasn't gone down, but this part here beyond the garage also belongs to you and is part of your property. I know a lot of people that have sustainable homes and live in the countryside like this like to keep like pigs or chickens or something. Yeah, chickens. So you could do that there fairly easily. And then across that way, it's just rural views. So it's a very rural setting, isn't it? It's very quiet. Yeah. Okay, that brings us to the end of the tour. So I hope you enjoyed taking a look around something a little bit different today. If you want to find out more about it, make sure to check out the developers, Pure House. All their details will be in the description below. These houses are for sale. So if you are interested as well, contact them, chat about them, find out some more and we'll see you in the next video.